everybody it's Christine welcome back welcome back today is day 27 uh oh whoops y'all oh my gosh what have I done anyways today's tw <laughs> day 27 um sketches by Allison Davis and it has obviously it's kind of a half and half or you know a take on a half and half with half triangle color whatever Three photos, you know, a couple clusters, title, wording, blah, blah, blah. I know I've done this sketch before. I don't recall which layout. I'm sure I find it somewhere. But anyway, it's a really cute sketch. And I decided today, I was looking at all my stuff, all my little stashy stuff. I've got my hip kits. I've got my scrap rooms. i got my, you know, various collections I picked up. And I thought, oh, I hadn't done Disney in a while. I'm going to do a Disney. So I went over to my Disney bucket. I'll show you real quick, too. I got this as my Disney bucket. And I got all this stuff here, this like various different Disney collections. And generally speaking, they will mostly all work together, which is kind of cool. But I decided, I'm sorry, y'all, it's kind of an afternoon time here. And so the sunlight's coming through my windows and I've got little wooden, wooden shutters and I can't, I can't keep that from happening. So my apologies, but here we go. This is the Simple Stories Say Cheese Main Street. It's from 2020. It's not real old. Um, and it's, a, I haven't, I hadn't even cut into this collection yet. So I'm kind of excited. I haven't even picked my papers yet. And then I got these three pictures. I have already skinnied them up just a little bit because the picture, the sketch calls for two and a half by three and a half. I am not going to get that little y'all because I'm not cutting all these down. I really like these pictures uh, with the swords. So um, I'm not cutting down that little. They're going to be about this big. So it's going to be a little bit different than the main sketch here, but that's okay. And I think I'm going to use black as the base and I'll end up putting these papers on here. So I'm going to end up using black as my photo mats here. This is my daughter. You know, they have this little sword and a stone at Disney. And you kind of play like you're pulling it out. And I thought it was cute. And I had told her, hey, flex your muscle or whatever. So um, this was adorable. So that's going to be the pictures. That's going to be the collection. Let me pick out my papers and get started. And we'll come back on. Well, y'all, for such a simple sketch, I sure do fast around a lot with it. <laughs> All right, so what I did is I have picked a single si a single sheet of paper that I decided each side would be good for this project. So I cut it in half. I did just fold it over, use scissors. Um, so it's not a perfect, you know, perfect straight cut. Um, but that's okay because I'm going to do something in a second with washi tape that kind of prevents that from being an issue. So the first thing I do is I do kind of put these together and I put a little double-sided tape. And then I thought to myself... Well, you've already got the double side tape out, Christine. Just use it as your adhesive for the paper. <laughs> um, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I did trim this down a half inch on both sides. So it's going to be slightly smaller than the black cardstock. Um, I do not gut the black cardstock. It's just a simple piece of black cardstock, so I don't bother doing that. Um, but I did, as I mentioned, mat the three photos on black cardstock. So you'll see that. So I've gone ahead and put these two pieces of paper together. Um, as I said, I've got this two, the double sided tape. And I'm going to flip it over in a second, and I'm going to use a red and white striped washi on the seam between the two, the diagonals. Um, I actually have black and white out as well, and I really vacillated, went back and forth on it. I even showed it to my daughter, and I'm not going to lie, she wasn't terribly helpful. She goes, I don't know, Mom. <laughs> but I decided on the red one. I thought it looked the best, so I'm going to use this red, um, red and white striped washi just to kind of straighten up that seam a little bit where you can't see the, the tiny little, like, gaps I guess that happen. So I've already done all the assembly now. I went and stuck it down and now I've got my pen out and I'm just going to do it around the outside edges. On the sketch it showed like a stitching um, or a theoretic I guess it could be a faux stitching or a real stitching whatever around the triangle pieces. Um, I don't sew guys. I'm not going to I just I don't lie. I'm not going to sew. I'm not going to sew on nothing. I've got a sewing machine. I've got a needle and paper so we're just not messing with that. So I typically will doodle whenever they're showing stitching. Um, and in this case, I didn't even do like the quote stitch look. I just went ahead and just doodled the line. So now I got my three photos and I know I'm going to put the two outside lower or like flat and I'm going to put foam on the middle one. So I've got my ATG and I went ahead and put the adhesive on there and then I'll we'll slap down my foam here. I am almost through with this foam without the sticky, y'all. I'm almost there. <laughs> um, and I'm going to organize these. And, I, and at first, I kind of lay them like, you know, just kind of like this. And then I look up at the sketch and I realize, well, the title is supposed to kind of go on the right-hand side. Not title. Um, the embellishment cluster is supposed to kind of fit in like a little, you know, cubbyhole area or whatever. Or like a little area for the, in the middle there. So I kind of brought it down just a little bit. Now, here's where I really struggle, y'all. I, I look at these. I have so, this is where... 
like my brain almost just goes into a paralysis by analysis because I'll sit here and I got all these sticker sheets, y'all, all these sticker sheets. Now, I will tell you the colors most of the time, mostly go where you typically will see the difference in the collections is in, well, okay, the intensity of the blues or whatever. So in this case, like, for example, this Main Street, this Simple Stories Main Street, the blue is a little, like, softer blue, and some of these other stickers are more of a what do you want to call it? Not like a sky blue or like a, it's a really more, a little more intense blue. And so I start kind of messing with these stickers and I really, and I go, well, I can't really use any of blue because I just didn't think it looked right. I do pull some off. Um, I, I finally, y'all, and I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna remember what order I do these in. I did see this say cheese. I like it. I stick it there for a second and then I put it back. And I think I'm not going to use it. I actually end up using it. Although at this moment in time, when I'm looking at this, I don't uh, remember, I don't, pick it, but I will pick it in a minute for a different location. And then I thought, oh, this is kind of cute. This, this giant amber sand. And I thought, okay, I can do wonder and magic. And I kind of like that because it is a long title on the sketch. Um, and the red is about the only color that really kind of sticks out to me on this black, this pattern with this, this black with these little colored dots all over it. I told my daughter, you know, she actually helped me pick the paper, which is fine. It was kind of late about her, and I kind of asked her. She's, if I'm honest with y'all, she's a little sad today. Um, she's gotten sick, and she was supposed to do a really big deal this weekend, a speaking engagement and get an award and all that, and she's not going to be able to go, and she's beside herself upset. So um, I was trying to engage her in helping me with this layout. I'm not sure it really worked, but it's okay. So she, anyway, she picked the paper, and honestly, this red is about the only thing that really stuck out on it. I might could have found maybe a blue title or a yellow title, but really on the sticker sheets, this was the best title that I found. And I thought Wonder and Magic was kind of cute. And so anyway, I'm going back to these sticker sheets and I'm thinking, okay, I need some other things to fill out where in the sketch was like these floral clusters. And in my head, I'm going, I've got so many stickers, Christine. Why can you not figure something out? And um, I'm trying to think what I pull off first. I'll get this little ticket here. That actually does not stay. I'm gonna cut over in a minute after I pick a few things because I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to build out these. Here's a round little picture thingy. Um, I put that sticker down there. I don't really hate these things, but they're, I'm just not feeling it either. Um, I stick that camera up there. Uh, I, I don't even remember, guys, because I pull pretty much every bit of it off. <laughs> um, I put all these stickers on here and then I just decide, no, I don't really like any of these. Um, in the end, I actually don't build anything that looks like floral clusters, but I do build clusters of like smaller stuff. So um, I'm going to just kind of look through these sticker sheets again. And I, I just, I'm just fasting, y'all. I, I really just can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. And so in just a second, I'm going to cut over. Let me see what else. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm looking to see what I'm doing. And I'm hearing shouting in the other room. And I'm, I don't know what they're shouting. <laughs> like not mean shouting, but just like carrying on about something. Um, I find this little camera on the sticker sheet that goes with this collection, and I decide I like the colors better. So I pull off the little round thingy, and I pull off the big thing. And then this is now where I've decided on my pieces, right? Because I, I just, I was going back and forth, going back and forth. So I find this little picture frame. I like it. Um, I'm still fast around with that ticket there. I'm going to look at it several times, and then I put it back. I don't end up using it. I did find a little fishtail banner that says straight out of Main Street, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, and then what's funny is I'm looking at that darn sticker sheet that, I've, that comes with this collection, and I finally, finally notice one floral. <laughs> and there's actually more than one, but um, I'm going to still, I'm kind of digging around here. Um, I do find this little heart with the Mickey ear on it, which I think, okay, that's kind of cute. And um, I'm digging around in these ephemeras just to see is there anything else. At the top, you can see I now have that Say Cheese sticker again. I did pick that out again, so which tells me, you must really like that, Christine. Um, and then I had a little, like, tag-looking things that's those colored black and the black with the colored dots. And then at the moment, I have this um, heart, or the, I'm sorry, bow on the little tag. That actually doesn't stay. So you'll see that in a minute. So I'm kind of coming in here, I get that this bottom cluster. So I kind of got that top cluster kind of like started, but that's not what stays. So I come down in here and I've got the floral now on that little bottom piece. And I'm gonna add the um, ATG and glue this down with a little straight out of Main Street. And um, I'm just kind of building out this little cluster. It's pretty cute, I'm not unhappy with it. I did like turning that picture frame at an angle. I don't really know why other than it just felt better than straight down. It just it just didn't feel right straight down, so I had to turn it at an angle. And then I'm coming up underneath here with some glue just to kind of make everything stay. And I think I'm gonna go now to the top cluster, and I'm like, okay, now I need to address you because you're not really what I want. Um, 
I take the foam tape and I put it underneath this say cheese because it is on top of the picture with the foam, so it needs to be brought up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in a second and take that. I'm gonna have to adhere. I'm gonna have to adhere rather adhes. <laughs> That's not real words. Um, I put that black one there, and then I think, you know what? Set aside this other other one for a second because I just I don't know if I love you. So I'll set that one aside, and honestly, I completely forget about it. I don't want it in there in there anyway. But then I completely forget about it. And I'm cleaning up, and I realize, oh, you're still stuck to the table because I did put ATG on the back of it. <laughs> um, Okay, so anyway, I put this black one with the little color dots on, and then I go back and in my sticker sheet again. I do find that camera again, um, but first, what am I picking out here? So I end up with, there's a little floral. That's what it was. I did find one little floral. Um, I find, I end up pulling out like a little suitcase. To be honest, that doesn't go at all. There's that camera again. Um, and when I say doesn't go at all, the colors go. But I mean, I wouldn't sit here and suggest you there's any kind of like suitcase thing here. Um, then I find these words. I decide, oh, okay, I'm going to start adding the words. And this is what a character I find so happy and then worth the weight. And I'm just finding things that are kind of, you know, the right color and whatnot. I start with worth the weight right there. And I actually end up finding a red one that I like better. I thought the yellow was kind of disappearing on the paper. So I'm going to flip those two apart. So just real quickly, uh, these pictures are from, again, this from uh, Magic Kingdom. And my daughter had run up and was we were taking pictures um, of us all. Actually, I have one of all of us, but for some reason I have three. And honestly, if I have to pick a favorite of these three pictures, it's actually the far left because she's laughing and she's just so happy and she's adorable. Um, I just love it when my daughter's laughing. If I'm honest, she's got such a beautiful smile and it just makes me really happy inside. So I put that little suitcase up there. I find this little um, banner that says good times. And then I'm going to put that with a little bit of foam tape on the, the right, the, like the pointy part and I'm going to put the flap the bow part where the t bows are kind of tied I'm gonna put those down and I'm really again I'm just trying to build out this cluster where it's like not um you know it, it, it's not, again they're not a, it's not a floral cluster <laughs> in any way shape or form but it just it's a it's kind of where the cluster was on the sketch okay now I'm going into my puffy stickers and I end up finding a little camera I find a little pair of sunglasses I find a couple of little tiny puffy flowers and I'm just going to kind of sprinkle those kind of throughout just to kind of give it, you know, a little something, something. And then there is one other little floral that I put up at the top up there that kind of matches the bigger floral that's the sticker down below. So I just kind of go around and fill these little guys out. I might could have sprinkled something, maybe a shimmer or something in the way of inks. I don't actually end up doing that because I honestly go over and pull into my, I, I had in my head I might put jewels on here um, because I do have like, red jewels. I have little silver jewels, but I had it in my head to do that. And then I came across in my little bucket, some enamel dots basically that are Disney themed. Um, and I say Disney themed. They're not technically Disney. Nothing's literally licensed or whatever, but you know, the, you know, you know what the point is, right? It's like the red and the gold and the whatever, the colors that match. So I'm kind of looking at this. I think I'm pretty much done then I do decide, no, I need to put a little something extra. Um, I guess I'm just still doing a little bit of foam tape there. But I run over and I get those little enamel dots right there. And I decide the little gold shiny ones are the ones I want. I kind of just wanted to add a little sparkle to this layout. So I put the little gold, like, glittery enamel dots. And, y'all, I just remembered. I just remembered I have some Mickey Mouse ear ones. And I need to make sure I pull those out. Um, maybe I'll go back in and add those. And if I do that, I'll add it to Instagram because I've already taken the pictures for the video. <laughs> um, but I did add the little gold ones here. So I need to remember those things, y'all, when I buy those things. I'm so goofy. So I just add these few little dots here, and that's all I'm going to do this layout. So thank you so much for watching. Apologies, I was fast around so much with those darn stickers, but hopefully you got a sense of, uh, you know, I don't know how to make the process work for you. There's the slowdown. I'll show you the stills in a second. Check out the playlist. Don't miss the playlist. Check out on Instagram the hashtag. Make sure you search that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.